Today's topic is really about the essence of feeling success now and why this is so important as we move into this conversation around quantum energetics and we move into this conversation of how important it is to know exactly who you are, to know what you desire to have, but more so than that, be in the energy of gratefulness, but even deeper than that, appreciation for your life as it is, appreciation for your business as it is. And this is something that I feel is wildly misconstrued out there in the world of quantum energetics, where there's this sort of perception of I'm here and I desire to get there. And often that feeling of I want to get there is what keeps us in lack right? Who's felt that before? So I want to teach you how you don't feel that sense of lack, how you don't feel that sense of it's such a big reach for me to get there. And also just take you through some really practical examples of how I've done it. So you get all of me today. We're not doing any slides because this is one of those topics that I want to eyeball all of you right in the face <laughs> and talk about this beautiful topic together. And a lot of the a lot of the learnings that's happened and a lot of my own realizations about how this has just honestly created a magical dream life for me, for a lot of my clients who have experienced this. And this is honestly one of the first things I will speak to everyone about. If you're interested to work with me, one of the first things we talk about in energetics is how we feel successful now. I literally am not able to provide a space or hold a space for transformation if we can't get and drop into this energy because you'll constantly be spinning out your wheels. You'll constantly be feeling not enough. You'll constantly be feeling in a sense of lack as opposed to in a sense of fulfillment and joy and knowing that where we are right now is exactly where we're meant to be. And it only gets better. We get to build from here and everything that we have in our physical lives right now is exactly what we're meant to have. And it starts to build and, and um, go from there. So the first question for everyone today in chat, I want to hear these answers. I want to see these answers is really going to be about if I were to tune in to your success frequency. So if you your success frequency was a radio station and if I were to tune in right now to, you know, success FM. So Lana's success FM, Beth's success FM, what would it be broadcasting? What would I be hearing? What would this particular station be saying? And specific to you. So what are you, what frequency are you putting out there in the world in terms of success? I want it to be very honest, very clear, but also at the same time, just tuning in, realizing what are you putting out to the world every single day? And right now, today, what are you saying about your level of success? This is such a awareness exercise because often we can be so stuck in the future of how we think our lives have got to look or we can be very much stuck in the past of how things were and you're stuck in the past and you can't quite see where things are right now this topic is about dropping into the now so Jamie says 111% there right now yes okay I'm I'm like that is amazing Jamie I love that Michelle says success, Michelle's success FM is about worry, doubt, and not enough. Thank you, my love, for being so vulnerable and so open. And this is the awareness that we bring into this space and go, oh, that's really interesting. Because often when you're in this space and you see what you're putting out there now, you can also start to see why certain things aren't quite working out the way you were hoping or why you're realizing that your magnet is pulling in even more of that worry and even more of that sense of lack. So uh, Lana Success FM says, I'm here for it, but I want it fast and I'm impatient and I know that I should not be like that. So you're irritated, you're feeling frustrated, you're feeling, oh gosh, you know, when is it going to happen for me? Seriously, I can relate to this one. There have been times in my whole entrepreneurial journey thus far where I would just sort of be sitting there and I would have moments where I'd break down and be like, but where is my success already? Where is, where is my time in the sun? Where is my spotlight? Why is, it, why is it not happening for me? And the crazy part about all of this was along the way, I think I've had an incredible, blissful entrepreneurial journey and yet I still felt that way. There were times where I was doing 25K months 
three months in a row and feeling like a complete failure. So that was really interesting bringing that into my awareness. Taryn says, busy mom of two, juggling business and showing others how to build successful biz in the same way. She's optimistic, energetic and lit up, but feeling frustrated with mum life, not being able to do the things uninterrupted. Hello. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Was it this call? Did, did Was it this call where I had my son just barge in? And well, I can't remember. There are so many calls this week. But yeah, I mean, there have been times where I'm like, I just want some Zen time so I can just be in the energy of success. And I rewired that very quickly. So we can talk about this as well. Lack of time. Yeah. Oh my God, Ruby, I hear you. Yes. Yeah. Sally, totally. Um, Marquetta says, my FM would say that I know my success is coming, but at the same time, feeling like I'm running out of time. So funny. I was speaking to a incoming uh, client yesterday and she said to me, I've given, I feel like God has given me two years to get things right because she left her corporate job and she was at the end of this two year period. And she goes, I feel like I've wasted those two years. And she kept going on about two years. And I said to her, what's with the two years? Is it, have you run out of money? Is it a time frame that your employer's given you like as a time off and you have to go back? She's like, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> no reason to pick two years but somewhere in her internal system she was tethering to this two-year time period and it caused so much stress and so much worry and as soon as I asked her that question it was like oh, I don't I I have no idea why I came up with that so just that bring the awareness the reason why I'm asking this question is so you see it you hold the mirror up Lynette says I'm feeling like nothing much is happening and keeping my focus when there isn't any movement. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Success FM. We're going to change that frequency for everybody today. And we're going to do this through noticing what is already available to you now. So for those of you that did the exercise where you wrote about being that coach, you created a board where you saw these images, you saw this life that you were living, you saw some of the luxuries that are already in existence of your life. Thinking about that, we're going to bring this into the conversation today. I want to tune in to a different frequency of Success FM. FM, by the way, stands for frequency modulation. So the frequency, we're frequency beings. We can create energy at any point in time. Do you believe that? Do you believe that we are energetic beings filled with the frequency that we can change in an instant? You can change it in an instant. If you do this, you rub your hands together. We feel heat, there's frequency. You do this and you place it on yourself, you place it on your heart, you feel instantly connected, you feel so safe when you do something like that, yeah? We're frequency beings and we have the ability to change up the way that we receive, the way that we give, the way that we look at things in an instant. It doesn't take a long time. You can choose to do it now, okay? So the secret of feeling success in any given day is to have a look at what is successful in your life now. And I know that for some of us, we're like, whoa, we're so feeling frustrated. We're so in lack. We're so in, you know, just this sense of I'm here and I want to get there and there's a big gap. How, Ruby, how do you feel successful now? So lately I have been exploring a way in which I can teach this in a very tangible way. And you may have seen me talk about this a little bit over the last week and a bit around every day gets to feel like a luxury holiday. And this exercise is really about helping you see and how you can create successful feelings or that feeling of just complete overflowing abundance in your everyday life. I'm not on a luxury holiday every single day of my life in a very like practical way like I'm not living out of a hotel I'm not you know traveling the world at the moment but I, I really do feel like every day is a luxury holiday and the reason being is I create moments I create energy I create frequency in my day that sends out something really beautiful to the universe and says I'm available for more of this energy and more of this frequency in my life 
So this can include things like, you know, I've started having some of you tag me in, in your life is a luxury holiday post, which I just love. And I had someone yesterday tag me on, oh, was it you, Taryn? Oh, I can't remember. But it was like a um, martini glass. And it was filled with like this juice that they had made and they put a little grapefruit slice on the side of it. And it looked like a beautiful cocktail that you would get sipping in Hawaii somewhere, right? And I had Michelle tag me in an image where it was just a gorgeous, gorgeous salad bowl that you would order if you were out and about in a luxury hotel and wearing your white linen pants and your wide brimmed hat. So there's all these things where you can create that. Like I'm literally going to do a series next week where every day I'll show you how I invite this energy in. And the reason why I picked this particular example is because it links directly to how I see success. So my energetic value, something we go through inside of my program, Flow State Business Mastery, is really about that sense of luxury. One of my energetic values is luxury. Can anybody else relate to this one? And which, by the way, was one that really triggered me at the start. I'm like, I can't say my value is luxury. That is so ego. That is so, you know, just it's so top line. Surely I'm deeper than that. <laughs> But then I just was like, no, I like nice things. That is what drives me. That is what keeps me feeling just so excited and juicy and delicious. And I desire to live in luxury. And so when I really thought about the example of what luxury meant, and it's always been the way in my business, I love hotels. You've heard me talk about this. Perhaps I started my business working out of hotel lobbies, just sitting there, not checking in, just ordering a coffee at the hotel lobby cafe area. And I would just start imagining what my business would be like if I was able to travel and stay at these wonderful places. So I would go to the Grand Hyatt on Collins Street in Melbourne, which was like the Paris end of Melbourne, very fancy. And I would sit there in their big open lobby and just smell the smells. So I was like, you know, if that is my essence of success, if that's one of my you know, essences of success, I can create that every day. And what was the particular instance that got me there that helps me feel this way? Well, the waiter always comes around and pours a sparkling water in a stemless wine glass with a little slice of lemon. And there's something about that where it just feels so expensive. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm by myself a soda stream. And I'm going to have endless supply of sparkling water. And every time I go down to the local farmer's market, I just think to myself, well, I'm going to buy just like a big bag of lemons. Like I live right near Byron Bay, lots of lemons. It's so beautiful. So great. I've always got a fridge stock with lemons, unlimited water supply with sparkling water. And I got myself some beautiful stemless crystal glasses. And that every day I feel like I have an essence of feeling like I'm on a luxury holiday. There's so many examples that I can provide and give you in essence to my energetic values. But even as I'm speaking, I want you to start thinking about what are the values that drives you and your energy? This is why I call it energetic values, not the values of your business and not the values of, you know, your, your company. I'm talking about the values that light up your energy like a Christmas tree. Like you know that when you do this thing, when you experience this value, when you have this particular essence in your life, there's no stopping you. You are at your highest high. You feel amazing. And I'm willing to bet most of us here will have values that are fairly similar. I attract a very beautiful audience. So some of your values may be in a similar vein of choice, freedom, abundance, wealth, money, success, giving back, like these sorts of things that really drive you, they turn on your energy. So I want to hear some of these because what I'd love to do is also be able to help you find the thing that helps you feel that level, that really deep connection to success now. What we're doing here is that we're changing the frequency of our day-to-day -day lives, not just hoping and wishing that this one thing gets to happen, hoping and wishing that one day I'll be able to 
you know, stay in hotels and one day I'll be able to spontaneously check in and decide I'm just going on a, on a, on a trip. Like what I did last week, I just spontaneously went, I'm going to the hotel, I'm going to check in. And that was so amazing for my energy. I just felt it completely overflow so much. So I'm able to show up on these calls and just still feel how much energy I received from that, but it didn't start. It didn't just happen. I allowed for that energy to be in my life every single day. Every day, I feel like I'm on a luxury holiday. So with all of this being said, I want you to pick one of your values, just one thing that you've written. And I want to just extrapolate on that a little bit. So what does, so let's take, for example, uh, let's take, for example, okay, Lynette says spaciousness and time to myself. Oh, I love that. Okay, one of your, that lights up your energy. Okay, Lynette loves spaciousness. Give me space and I'll light up my energy and I'll fill up my cup this way. And I just, it, it's just amazing. So potentially, I'm just going to make this up. Lynette's life doesn't have a lot of spaciousness right now. Or there's a desire to have more of that, more time where you're not tied down to a to-do list or a checklist or a schedule or even just like needing to do things for others. Spaciousness can often just mean, I just want to not have an agenda for today and just be spontaneous and do whatever the, the hell I want and just enjoy my day. So how can you create that? We can't just go from this is how I feel and this is what I want and this is what I don't have. It's really hard to jump from here to here, right? Which is often why before when I asked, what does your frequency look like? It's that sense of what came out was a lot of frustration. So let's think about what spaciousness actually looks like to you, Lynette. And all, all of you did do this for your values. I want a very specific example right now. Get really specific. Wake up in my day and I have nothing on my calendar and no one to call, nowhere to be, nothing to do, so, something super specific. I don't need to open my laptop. I'm going to just have a day where I'm offline perhaps it's something like that with freedom so Ellen says freedom what does that represent what is freedom to you really specific example freedom can be like walking around the house naked <laughs> and not giving a crap if anyone sees you or freedom could be you know like just being able to hop in the car and go for a drive and not explain anything to anyone I'm just going bye I don't know where I'm going to end up but I'm going Abundance, what does that mean? So abundance for some people could mean a fridge stocked with San Pellegrino, all the flavors in the world. And you open it and it's like one of those Pinterest fridges. And it's like, I feel abundance. Look at this fridge. Sometimes like one of my clients said abundance for her felt like she was able to just go to a puppy farm and just pat all of them. She just felt really abundant in that state, just loved it. Just like, I want to go and pat lots of puppies and just be in, in that beautiful state of mind. Um, we've got, let's say, playfulness. So Lana says playfulness. What is that? What could playfulness be? Is it just jumping on a trampoline? Is it having drinks with the girls and going to Magic Mike? Like, what does that look like? <laughs> you know, what, what is the, the thing that brings the energy forward? So, yeah, it is the best exercise, Jamie, because... In many ways, this is you looking at the connection of how your energy wants to flow because words are words are words are words are words. Like you could write a whole bunch of values and anyone that's been in corporate, you'll know there's always these values laminated on the wall and you just look at them and you're like, what does that even mean? Like what, you know, I don't connect with them fully. And so when you think about energetic values, what lights you up, it's a lot easier. So Taryn says, uh, abundance uh, I wake up and decide that I want to be in the bush today. Yes. So I load the girls in the car, head down the freeway until I find somewhere that looks so vibey and I hop out and the girls play in the dirt and we go for walks. Taryn, can you be my mum? That's just like amazing. That, it just sounds wonderful. Oh my goodness. I might even decide to stay the night somewhere here and wake up to the bird song and country sunrise. I got goosebumps. Did anyone else just get goosebumps? Do you see like how specific that is? So as you're doing this and I can see, wow, freedom, feeling so secure that I can go for a hike, a bike ride and check in with my clients when the time works for us. 
Yeah, you could literally be hiking up somewhere. And I've had a lot of clients who do this. I have a lot of hiking clients. This is cool. I have a lot of hiking clients. And so you're going on a hike. Most times, let's say there's no reception and there's no sense of anxiousness. Like, oh my God, I need to check in with my business. I need to do this. You're just on a hike and there's zero Wi-Fi and you are in your best possible energetic state because you don't have to answer to anybody. It's just you and nature and loving the creation of this world, this abundance of this world that you get to live in. That is wonderful. I can order anything I want. Hell yes, Lana, in any restaurant I want. How about like not checking the prices, walking in, paying whatever you need to, tipping, like just being able to be like, you know what? I love your service, so I'm going to over tip. And you know what? I'm going to also get that table. So they, they look like they're on a first date. Let's just like, I want to get their table or whatever it is. And, and it just feels like overflow, 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 overflow. Okay. So who here feels your vibration is just elevated? Can I just check in on that first question? We're going to circle back. What does your success FM say in this state? One word or how's it shifted or how's it feeling? But going back into success FM, you're in this state of mind now. This is what my value means to me. This is what my, this is exactly what it means. This is an exact experience of what I desire to have in my reality. And in this space, my radio station has changed. The frequency has shifted I have seen something elevate and maybe you're even feeling a, a buzz somewhere. You're feeling a buzz in your hands and your heart. You're feeling this sense of, wow, this is so exciting. And just putting yourself in that environment of dropping in, dropping in. This is what I mean. Like if you ever hear me say, you know, drop in. Like if you are feeling so in a sense of lack or, you know, your clarity is all over the shop, drop in. If you remember one thing from this call, it's just remember, Ruby said, drop in and go back to this place. And you can do this for every single one of your energetic values. Every single, I've got one for everyone. I know exactly what it feels like for freedom. I know exactly what it feels like for wealth. I know exactly what it feels like for success. I know exactly what it feels like for all of my values, like very specific scenarios in my mind. Mm -hmm.